extra adrenaline, any extra intensity when you face your former team? Um, I think the first few times I went out there, there was, especially my last one because it was coming out of the bullpen. It was kind of late notice. Um, but the team's a lot different from when I was there. You know, the top meat of their lineup is still very similar. Um, and I know those guys really well. I still talk with them regularly. I talked to Bregman. when we were going to go to the races yesterday, but I couldn't make it. So I'm still real close with those guys. So it's it's it's, it's, it's uh, exciting for me, you know, knowing I'm going to face some buddies and we get a chance to challenge each other and, you know, have the, the bragging rights a little bit. But I still prepare the same way, and I'm treating it like, you know, any other start. How do you look back on your time in Houston, especially since it was so early in your career? Yeah, I mean, it was, a hu it was huge for me. I mean, the guys I got to play in my first years of professional baseball were some of the best players in the league. Um, and I think when you go back and look at that 2017 roster in 20 years, you're going to ask yourself, how the hell were all these guys on one team at the same time? You know, there's a ton of really talented guys over there. But I spent a majority of my time as a starter, through with the minor leagues with them, and then debuted as a starter. I was always, you know, a starting role. And then first time I ever pitched in the bullpen was that back half of the 17 season. And over the course of those three months, I went from being the, the mop-up long relief guy to getting the eighth inning role and being in high leverage situations. And I feel like that time that I spent in those in those bullpen, you know, that bullpen role in the late innings was, you know, was everything in the development for me, development for me as, as far as, you know, how to pitch in those high leverage situations, learning how to get guys out, learning what I really need to get myself ready, not having the, the same amount of time that starters do. Um, you know, you learn a lot about yourself and going to going to Pittsburgh after getting to go back into the starting rotation, I was able to take a lot of those things and implement them into my game and it made me a much better starting pitcher. When you're part of a World Series in that early part of your career, is there always like a hunger to try to get back there that maybe, you know, you guys are feeling right now as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's hard to explain. Everyone tell everyone says they want to play for you know for a World Series and play in the playoffs, but there's nothing like actually being there and experiencing it. It's all you need to to want to push for that every year. So um, it's been a while. It was my first year. I was a little bit uh, shy, a little bit timid at times, and you know didn't want to say the wrong things or do the wrong things. I was just trying to be the the good rookie that was doing their job and, and performing on the field. So. I wish I would have done a little more as far as grasping the, the situation we were in and soaking everything in, but I was so concerned about doing my job and, and not screwing things up that I didn't really get a, a true grasp for that for that postseason feel. But um, you know, with the mentality I have now and you know the, the progression that I've made in my you know my pitches. Um, I'm really excited to see what kind of stuff I can bring to the table in that situation. I mean, you're dealing. You know, you had the complete game shut out. Like to to be at this point in your career. At this point in the season where you're still strong at the end of the season, especially after last year, how do you feel about just like your growth this year and, and where you're at with your arm? Yeah, I think my health's the biggest thing. I've been able to stay on the field, you know, which is, was always a problem early on in my career. And that's another thing with being in the bullpen. You know, it's, it's a lot of wear and tear on the arm. You're throwing, you know, max effort just about every day. So uh, building that endurance, learning how to handle my body, how to take care of my body. Um, you know, and over the last handful of years, I feel like August has been a, a really strong month for me, and I've shown signs of getting stronger. My last handful of outings at the end of each year have been my best outings of the year. So that was a trend for me when I was young, coming up through high school, as outings got on and, like, I got deeper into games, my stuff was getting better. I was getting sharper towards the end of the season. When I got a big workload under me, I was getting better. So, um, you know, that's, that's a good quality to have, but I also got to maintain it and not just talk about it. So, you know, I'm going to continue doing things I've been doing that have gotten me where I am. You've been a stopper this season. You've helped the team get back on the right track. You've put them on your shoulders at times. Do you relish that role of, of just being the guy that can sometimes turn it around for this team? Yeah, I mean, I like that. You know, you're not always going to be able to be that guy, but you know, I think when you prepare properly and you and you do all the right things, and then you add the, you know, the thought of being in your hometown and you got all your people watching and not wanting to fail in front of them. That's another big motivator for me. So. Um, I think anybody on our team would take that role if they were asked to, you know, to take a team, take a move for the team that we needed that would ultimately, you know, set us right. I think anybody would do it. It just happened to fall in my hands, you know. Do you want the ball as much as possible uh, to end the season? Yeah, down the stretch, I've, I've talked to them, and you know, we've, we've we're clear on the on where we're at in the standings. It's not like we're six games out and we need to make up games. We're right there within a game of this team, so. It's important to get our best guys out there, but it's also important to keep them healthy and not push too much at this point in the year and, and get in the playoffs and then be down two or three guys because we push so hard to get there. So um, over the next week or two, you know, we'll see what position we're in, but I'm ready to take the ball whenever I feel healthy, you know, I feel ready to go. You know, there's been so much talk about you guys slipping, you guys slipping, but you're still right in it, yeah. you know? So, so I mean, what is, you know, it, it feels it's kind of bleak, I guess, on the outside, but in the inside, does it... Does it feel that way to you guys? And we know we have we have a really good team. We've got a really good offense. We've got a great pitching staff. Our bullpen's been strong all year, so we got all the pieces. We just haven't been putting it all together. And 
Um, you know, there's no feeling of like hopelessness or feeling like we're lost. I mean, we're right there. Those games, especially that game with the Dodgers, we go 16 innings. It was three or four separate times we should have lost that game, and our guys came up and made big plays, big strikeouts. You know, we got put in a tough spot having to have them walk our three, four hitters to face pitchers three different times in those extra innings. But, I mean, we fought and clawed every chance we had to stay in that game, and that's all you can ask is that we're just that we're putting it out there and leaving it all out there, and you got to let the things fall where they may, you know, so.